Hey, I'm Miss Jill. I'm your hymn storyteller for this month, and I'm so glad you're here. Tonight I want to tell you the story of Take My Life and Let It Be. I also call this the hymn of answered prayer, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. About 140 years ago, a young woman named Frances Havergal went for a visit to a friend. In that day and time, it took a long time to make a visit. There were not taxi cabs or fast cars, most probably horses and carriages that she had to take. So after she got to her friend's home, she planned to stay for five days. When she arrived, she found that there were 10 other people there as well. Some of those people knew Jesus as their savior and some did not. And so her very first night, Francis prayed, Lord, give me all this house. She wanted everyone there visiting her friend to know the Lord as their personal savior. She stayed and she spent moments and days with everyone in that house, talking to them about what was interesting to them and telling them about her savior. The evening of the fifth day came and it was her last night there. And by that night, everyone there, she and all 10 guests had come to know the Lord. They had all received his blessing. Frances was so excited that night she went to bed and she could not sleep. The words to the hymn, take my life and let it be, came to her from God that night. Take my life and let it be, God, consecrated, Lord, to thee. That means set apart so that we can serve God. It was a hymn of answered prayer also because Francis had prayed, Lord, give me all in this house, and all had come to know him. When Francis got home, she took all of her jewelry, except the two pieces that she wore, and sent them away to a missionary society so they could sell them and spend money on the children who needed to know the Lord. That's what our life should be, consecrated, set apart for serving God. And all the money that we don't need should be given to those who do need it to come to know Christ as Savior. And also, let's never forget that God answers prayer. Let's pray about that right now. Father, thank you so much for these children. Thank you so much for these workers who will teach them the hymns and let them know of you and your love. And Lord, thank you so much for answering our prayers. Lord, tonight I ask that you save all in this house, that every child here will come to know you as personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our prayer and loving us. Amen. See you next time.